Welcome back to Old Man Gaming, where today we're we're actually back in our old, well not old, in the season 16 save. We got lots of money, we got lots of things we're going to do, or like we could do. But some people have asked about, um, about bulldozing, so I was going to make a video here. I decided we'll try an old Arnold. Um, I, for, I messed up and grabbed the wrong home. Oh. Uh, back. Wow. I'm having an interesting day already. <laughs> but I transferred the wrong thing, so we'll just transfer this back to storage. And then we need... We need... Um, the bulldozer, of course, if we want to do some bulldozing. <laughs> All right. And that finally shows up 18 18,000 ounces that's pretty much all of my uh, those two together or pretty much everything that went on the leaderboard all right so let's take a look so I like to get in this view so you can really look around uh, you can use whatever view you want so make sure, you know, when you're driving around, make sure you have this thing all the way up. If not, you'll, you know, make little holes in the places. And that's not really cool, so. Let's take a look here. Whoa, okay, so one thing I have to, I forgot my, my controller's a bit broken. And so, um, it might wig out a little bit, so bear with me. My fuel is low. Actually, um, I'm just trying to think. I mean, I want to see, um, see, like over here, it's not very, um, uh, it's all sorts of kind of bumpy. So let's go over here before I do much of anything. So I wanted to look at the map here, but now the gold map will have nothing on it uh, because we haven't done anything. Let me let me do this. Um, actually, we are right by the. I should turn this off though. Uh, oh, I was like, why won't it let me get in the truck? Because <laughs> I had something out. What I'm gonna do? Because I, yeah, I got money. We'll just, uh, we'll just buy it. Whoops, not that one. We'll just buy a few drill holes. That way, um, I can also show you how you can tell how much you've been taken off because that's also quite important. So we'll do like maybe 100 just so we got quite a few squares out there. I think I lost count. We'll just keep going for a minute. It's not like it's putting much of a dent in my, <laughs> in my money. <laughs> All right, that should be good. Let's check out, I, I didn't even have to leave the tent, but let's check out the map now. All right, yes, we got some stuff here. I wonder, actually that's a pretty good square. I mean, for our old Arnold, this is pretty good stuff. Um, have to think here. I think we've come back over here somewhere. That dirt, oh, I think the dirt pile is right around here. Dang it, none of this has overburden on it. That's a problem. Uh, we might have to pick a different claim for this. And that's not a big deal either, because I don't, like I said, generally after the, uh... okay. Unfortunately, I think the best way to do this is to do this. We'll go here. I'll just reset this claim. Because this is probably the one everyone wants to know how to do the best. Because like, uh, what is it? <clears throat> this one, Pine Valley, it's all flat or pretty flat. <laughs> Excuse me. It's pretty flat, so you don't need the bulldozer there. This one is... It's crazy. Um, just
just trying to think. But I'm sure everybody wants to see it. Yeah, let's just do it. I'm just going to confirm it. I don't, I don't care. That put a dent in the money a little bit anyway. So let's go back here. Um, why does it not show me? Oh, duh, because it's... Because <laughs> it's select... I'm like, it's not in the list here. I can't get it. All right, so mostly we'll just need the bulldozer over, over there. And we can fast travel, so it's not a big deal. It'll have all the fuel we need, so all we gotta do is not worry too much about the camera. Because it can be a bother. All right. So this is all reset, and this is generally what I'll do in leaderboards. It's all, uh, I'll drill first. Oh, we should do that. Let's not get too far away. How much money we got? 400K. I think we got enough to do some drills. So we'll need to know a little bit so I can show you how you can tell. And if we need to go smelt some gold, we'll do that too. It won't take long, but let's uh, make sure we do the right one here. There was one leaderboard I spent like 150... I didn't have a lot of money at the time. I spent like 150k on drilling. Uh, well, I drilled the wrong the wrong one. I'm like, hey, this isn't working. Ah, it was lame. So... I forget how many we've done here, but it's all good. That should give us uh, a good good amount of stuff to look at. What's going on? Like the game is frozen. Like I can see, holy cow. It's frozen. I've never had this happen before. Let me do this. I'm gonna turn off my, on my controller, no. Like normally if it does this, you know, I'll have like one frame per second. So I'm like, oh, okay, we're, you know, things are, not working here, but, uh, are you kidding me? Really? Like, it's not working at all. I'll turn my controller back on, see if we can maybe get it to work with the controller. Wow. I've never seen this happen before. All right. Um, so I can't even hit escape. I'm trying to use, um, Nothing works. Okay, you know what? I'll pause the video and uh, I'll get back to this spot and then <laughs> we'll start again. All right, well, uh, so I reset everything. <laughs> and, uh, well, the game's working again, but I, after I reset the, the thing and put the bulldozer here, this is what happened. So, yeah, you know, that's, that's cool. Oh, I can... I think there's some problems now, but it's all good. We'll, we'll get it all figured out here. At least things are working now, you know. There we go. See, truck's all back on its feet. All right, let's look at the gold map here now that we can. Uh, this one. Wow, it didn't give us a lot. But like, see here, yes, yeah, so there's a whole bunch of... I mean, this is good though because uh, it's enough so you can see there's like doesn't tell you but probably six six meters or so seven meters of overburden there this one isn't so bad oops wow 11 now <laughs> that's terrible yeah that's just all overburden right there see um all right, well, let's highlight these ones. Let's get an idea of where we're going or like what we kind of want to look at. Did we get a good claim? Looks like we got okay. There's a good hot spot right there. Up here. It's not looking so promising. All right, this is probably not the best claim, but guess what? I'm not digging it, so it doesn't matter. We're just going to drill a little. All right, so now we know where to go. 
Let's go take a look. Okay, make sure our blade is up all the way. Very, whoa, very important. So yeah, it's one of the first things I'll do. Um, my fuel is low, that's okay. So I've got a max worker in here and so we're good. So normally, um, when I'm dozing this place, whoa, let's not fall in. I like to start over here. You see this hill, it's always the same. Every time you load this game up, you get this hill right here in the way. And this is where you're going to dig your trench anyway. Just, you know, I start from probably this post here. I'll hop out. And we'll start digging because that's what we do now. So from about here all the way to this one here is where I dig. And, uh, you know, it always will put you kind of right where you want to be in the back here. And this has got it really far. That's terrible how far that is away from the... This is a bad claim. I would have reset it because it's so far away. But anyway. For digging purposes, I would start around here and uh, bulldoze it away. The best way is to just find a... Um, kind of get to see how it's kind of... seems like it's level here. Then I'd put the blade down and, and I would start digging. But let's go up here. Because I can see that uh, up here it might be like we can we can doze quite a bit of this just to get an idea. So we saw that this had like five or six meters. Let's take a look again. You can see I've got some stick drift going on. Stop it. There we go. Um, yeah, like six meters on that one probably. This one's got probably pretty close to that I didn't turn that one on these ones have less maybe we should start with like let's turn these ones off all right so again we're gonna want to find a flat spot to start and we want to find kind of a lower spot than the right off the bat here. So I'm going to come out here, I guess. It's not much lower, is it? Well, not to make it too tough. Let's let's start with this. Like, uh, this, this controller is going to get me. So you want to put it all the way down on a flat surface. See, and then it's going to start digging. It's best if you do it where it's not too high to start off with. So you can just keep pushing the dirt as far as you need it to go. So we'll push this a bit. So as long as the dirt is not over the blade, the the bulldozer will keep should keep pushing it like it. Ah no, let's not get up. Get up there. There we go. And then what I like to do is just come, like, especially once you get, like, a bunch of dirt going on the side when it's really high, then you're going to want to just cut off a little bit and not try to, like, take a whole blade length. Because otherwise you end up um, not being able to push it everywhere. And then obviously you always get this. I've never figured it out how to get it without but you always get this kind of like second row here comes off the blade on the left or right side depending on how you you go about so what I'm doing is I always prepare the side over here somewhat so I have room to like I still I'm not really that that far here come on like you need some room to bet what are we stuck on Blades being down all there. See, there's a little hill just right there. So you want to try to flatten out any of those little hills that pop up because, as you can see, they can create just a headache. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
I'll create a headache for you. You'll get stuck on them. See what I did there? I made a mistake and made a hole. And the bulldozer is not good about going over those. What I wanted to do is get back up here and actually take some off this side. So I've got room to like, you know, back up and Just making it nice and flat and pretty now. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like it's going to be good if we start from kind of on this side. And we're going to see how far into this we can go. I just want to make sure my blade's down. And so already now you can see it's getting it's above, like it's not going anywhere. I mean, if you look it up and down a little bit, we can get it to roll. Darn it. I was hoping we'd be able to push this through without having to have to do this. Let's see if we can get more to go this way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not do that. Alright, let's see, because... This isn't going so well. So I'm going to put it up just by one and see if we can get this to push further. If you go up one or two and then keep pushing forward, then as you can see, we can kind of keep going. And I was hoping it would go further. Like we can do both of these squares. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. <clears throat> All right, well, we can at least get these first two, looks like. So as you can see, I got a little wall going here. I don't want to take too much off the next, off these sets, or else I won't be able to push it very far. But you can generally push it all, whoops, all the way up to your wall. You don't want to make ski ramps because, uh, well, maybe in the winter you do, you know, because you can't dig. <laughs> Oh, he's going to go further. Okay. Let's see. Uh, on the map, it's giving us kind of... So we'll see if we get that all cleared off. And this one's going pretty good, too. I don't think that part changes until you get all the dirt, you know, pushed away. But this is basically how I do it. If I get stuck over there like this, what I might do... Uh is I'll get the excavator out and just like dig down a ways until I can get past where I need to dig or like push the, the dirt. But normally I'll, I'll go down further and I'll show you more in just a minute. And the thing with, with bulldozing is it's just patience. You've got to have patience. So you start, you know, find a flat spot make it big and flat and then start digging out your squares and what i keep doing i keep going a little to the left because it like will jolt it to the right and if you let it keep going you know you'll kind of dig deeper into the block but you'll get stopped because there'll be too much dirt for it to push you keep going to the left or to the right whichever side you've got the empty part on then um then you can keep going forward. You'll push your dirt all the way up to like whatever wall you kind of built. Like you can see here, got this wall. It's not really going to go much further for right now. So I'm going to clear off these blocks and see what what we get here. I don't. Whoops. See, this is why I went all the way back because you don't you want to like have room to back up and get to these here. Whoa! Darn it. <laughs> All right, stop. That was a pretty big chunk, but it looks like we're doing okay with it. All right. 
And you always want to get rid of these mountains here. You can get high centered on them and then it's like, it's just a bother. <laughs> so we cleared off about half of this one. I'll take one more like bit off of here and then we'll check the map. Because on this one, you can see it's clearly we've almost taken off two meters. I know, well, not two. Like, basically, once you get the dirt as high as the as the bulldozer, then you've taken off about two meters or so. Whoa. Ah, see, now I'm stuck. So if you get stuck, you got to put your blade all the way up and just keep turning till it, like, it'll let you out. Oh. Person the wrong way. There we go. I mean, it sometimes helps to go forward, but um, whoa! Sorry about my camera. My my game pad is broken. So if you didn't know, what you just saw was me refilling the tank without getting any using any, you know, exterior food, uh, not food, fuel tanks. And how that works is, uh, and you can do this in the normal gameplay, is if you get, you have to have six max level workers in vehicles, and then you get that perk where you can do the, like the instant fill. So here I'm just kind of forking around trying to get this to go further. Okay, let's take a look at the map. That didn't change much. But now you can see here there's a little bit there indicating that we've taken some off. And so now if we wanted to take more off, there's a couple ways to do it. Um, we're right at the edge here, so it's not going to be easy. Whoa. I mean, generally, I don't have this problem because um, I start way down there and work my way up here. But let's just see. So if you got your blade all the way down and you're on a flat spot, if you hold the blade button down and go forward, you can see it'll, it starts digging deeper. Almost too deep now. So that's also how you'd make a ramp. And how the ramps work is it'll, it can make the ramp down to like, uh, 10 squares will make it a good deep ramp. I've never actually made ramps all that much. So, but now you can see we just took off another bit and I'm gonna actually, now that we've done this, we'll have to turn around and maybe push some dirt back this way. See, so I'm gonna get back where the flat dirt is but lower and push it this way because I have a plan to actually dig it deeper again so let's see how far we can like if we can pull off ah, that camera get really buggy all right, so I'm going to go back over here again. I'm going to hold the blade down and go forward. See, now you can see it's tipping down, so it actually will dig quite deep. And I just push it as far as I can go. And then kind of try to clean it up so that we don't get too much dirt to push around. But we're slowly going down. So this is how you get it to go down if you didn't have like any deeper ground to go to if you are like you know for instance on pine valley it's pretty flat but if you want to clear off like two meters of overburden you're gonna have to like dig it this way i mean you could oh you can also use the excavator but this you know once you get the hang of it 
So a lot of this is practice too. You just gotta practice doing this. You know, and you're gonna find yourself getting stuck and making funny holes and everything. Um, actually, let me do this. Again, we're see so we're probably down half a meter. So we keep doing this. We can. I'm also trying to go left so I don't uh, leave too much of a heel on the left side. So here at the edge, you can see so you can push it right into the. A lot of times it'll disappear, but you can keep pushing the dirt up in here the more you get. So if you're at the edge of the map, you can just push all the dirt away and it'll delete it. And it's not, normally you're, you know, if it goes up on a hill like this, your bulldozers, because you've lifted up your, your thing. But at the edge of the map, it just does that automatically. But you can see I've just pushed a bunch of dirt out of my way and it's no longer a problem. Let's see, we're going to keep digging down. Now, we could have started down over there, um, but I wanted to, whoa, wanted to start here to give you some ideas of how, how it has to happen. You know, like if you're stuck somewhere or like I said, if you're on a flat ground, but you need to dig down, this would be the one of the two ways. I think it's a bit faster than the, the bulldozer, but you know, we'll see. So I'm going to dig it down again. Come on. Dig some more. Alright, so it went down. We'll just... Sorry about the camera rotating everywhere. It's just... It's broken. So I'm going to see if we'll turn around here. So. Big fat machine in the way here. And so people ask, is it, you know, how does it delete the dirt? It's just how it's built. When you push the dirt this way, it's just deleting it. So as you, as you can see, it kind of like pushes the pile, but also it looks like dirt's rolling underneath it and that dirt is deleted so let me see it looks like we got down so generally I think it takes between one and a half to two hours depending on how much I feel like I want to because <laughs> sometimes I'll just uh, bulldoze enough to get off to where the the gold is just barely and so like basically enough to dig out the trench and make it easy see how far we've gone down we've gone down quite a lot just cleaning this up here so that We'll be able to get all the stuff done. So, I mean, if you want to practice, this is, I think this is where the $1 for everything will actually be nice and useful. You know, you buy the bulldozer, you buy the claim, and then you start buying all the, buy a couple of drills so you can kind of see what you're doing. And you just practice. But like playing the game normally with like a, oops, I went down again. But playing the game just 
to play on one everything one dollar to me that's this takes all the fun out of the game all right so this wall back here is getting pretty high thought we'd get everything all nice and flat again and we'll take a look at the map But it's taken me a while. I'd say this one overall probably has the like biggest learning curve. It's hard to say because that front loader <clears throat> has a pretty tough learning curve as well, to be honest. Whoa. Hello, hello. Now we got stuck again. Dang it. Well, this happens. You just you get stuck. You try to... There we go. Come on. Get off of there. Just making it pretty. <clears throat> I often find I do that once I've got like things working really well. I'll just like, like, oh, there's a little dirt here. I want to get rid of it. <laughs> now we've almost. Come on, there you go. Sounds like it's raining. It's like raining or it's nighttime in this game. Once in a while we get snow, but most of the time it's raining or it's it's nighttime. Guess I'll turn my lights on so we can see something. So I've also found you can kind of come at these at an angle, and then as you turn in, see you can kind of mess around at the corners, cut in that get a nice deep angle, and still come out and take out a big chunk of the of the dirt but now we can see that our dirt pile where we started is yeah it's just at the top of the at least down here it's at the top of the the bulldozer let's take a look at the map see if we've done any more damage here that one still doesn't show anything <clears throat> it's getting closer it's like half and half there this one probably so we still got about a meter and a half to go. So we probably would still need to do that one or two more times. Let's back this up a bit. Whoa. Darn it, it turned all funny. didn't want it to turn I just wanted to go straight it's kind of hard to not have it go a different like a crazy crazy way when you're uh, holding down the button at least for my on my controller because it's like the same one that lifts and uh, <clears throat> lowers the blade it's the same one that I use to turn it's just the default setting I've never changed it because I got used to it let's let's stick down again Gotta make sure we push this back to the wall as much as we can. Oh, I really don't want it like that. <clears throat> but hopefully this will help. If you got other questions, let me know. Uh, you know, basically it's just really learning to use the blade and then trying to push push it all in a straight line. <laughs> and not getting too much in front of it. Because if you get too much in front of it, which is 
you know, why we stopped right here. Great. Yeah, okay, we didn't get stuck. I thought we might have been stuck there, so. Let's see if we can clear off all the overburden on these. We haven't got too much more to go, I think. Looks like it's messed up right here, but <clears throat> see if it's gonna go more forward. I'll let it go. There we go. All right, so I think we need to turn around and make it. Oops! Come on, camera, work with me here. See, back up a little bit. So it's just that it eats up quite a bit of time, but it's well worth it because um, I don't know if it was this season or last, but I started off by just digging the dirt <clears throat> uh, with the overburden on it. So I was running it and I was getting like, you know, about 500 ounce clean outs. And that's, I mean, that's not bad, really. It's not bad. But I'm like, okay, and I'll take, I, I had an hour or two extra one night. So I'm like, I'm going to just quickly get rid of some of the overburden. Um, so I cleared off, I think, two or three rows of dirt like this. And then it actually, my clean outs went to like 700. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> I see what's happening here. We better just clean it up. What? My blade is down. This is not how this works. It's starting to get a little messy at the back here, but there's not much I can do. I just hope we can push it all forward enough to... Okay, what is wrong? Is my blade not down all the way? Okay, I guess it's not. Thought it was. So one thing, you know, you can kind of hear, I'm like, once you get back to the wall and sometimes it won't move, you can kind of try to flick the blade up and down just by one or two. And it generally moves it a little further. Let's see if we can get this to move again. There we go. Just want to push it back a little further so that the map will update enough that we can clearly see we got all the overburden off. I don't have a wash plant. I don't need your sails. I find I do a lot of like almost as much like work right here at the at the wall as I do pushing dirt from one side to the other because it's always pretty full over there at the wall. Or it just, you know, it becomes a mess really quick if you don't keep trying to push it to a certain level. Turn around, we're going this way. So I'm trying to keep it pretty level inside this last square here. Would have been nice if we could have done all these squares together. Let's keep looking here. So this is the one. It's getting smaller. 
this one may not change, you know, but like this one, we can definitely see it's getting smaller. But that's what you do, and that's how you do it. But let me show you if I can get out of here now. <laughs> We've dug ourselves a hole that we may not. Well, you can get out. Basically, if you're stuck in a place like this, um, if you come here and do, say, three up, And then what I like to do is go to two. Whoa. All right. Like building ramps going up is a little harder actually than. Wow, I'm going to get myself stuck here, I can tell. Guess we gotta all right this is mostly just to get out of the hole here when you go to fall down you don't want your blade down you will really get stuck Let's see we're stuck right on a stupid eh, come on I can't get those to Oh, can I? Oh, I did. Okay, great. Sometimes moving the claws up and down will get you going as well. Let's see, for this big hill, you can almost start like right here. And this will also be quite the level where it all begins anyway. So we should be able to get this push quite far across to the map. I'm not pressing any buttons, I'm just pressing forward. Okay, we're... Since it's so low and there's not much dirt to push, we can get quite far. So this one I'd always just press it, you know, push it until it won't go any further. Because about, you know, wherever it's going to go. Whoops, that kind of... So this is where I guess we'll stop it because. All right, it's too high now, so. But see, now I got one little trench. It's nice and low, like it's low. We'll be taking off a lot here. So you can already see the, the hill. It's like, it's like, okay, what do we get stuck on? Are you kidding? Come on, get unstuck. I want to be stuck. There we go. Wait, my blade is up. See here, I. I'll take just a little bit out of the angle, at an angle, and then straighten myself out. And it's just going to cut the wall off. So you get stuck, back up a little bit, turn again to the the side with like no dirt on the blade, and you should be able to keep moving. And just try to make sure you push your dirt all the way as far as you can at the wall here. Keep it flat. So. And you'll slowly. Let's see, we've already like. If we look at it, it's almost one full square. That we've covered here. And now that we're digging into that hill, it's like several meters down. Back it up. Actually, now that we've got some room to turn, it's probably a good idea to like push out some dirt this way at the same level. Make sure. 
make sure. Oh, see, I didn't have the blade down. I didn't think so, because it wasn't pushing dirt anywhere. This is why I pick right here. Um, this is where I did it for the last cut of, of this last season. I just started way down here. And, uh, I mean, if you, know, you might get way over there and you might cut off a little bit, like a half a meter of where the gold starts. But it's not bad. Because all the other ones will be right down to the, you know, where you're starting. It's like this deep gold color and there's no overburden and it's really nice. I don't have anything here, so I can't really put like could transfer a vehicle and set some light. I mean, maybe we'll do that. Shed some light on the subject here. We'll just go transfer like the dump truck or something, something with some good light. But yeah, running through that hill, it doesn't take it doesn't take too long. I only see here. Wow, 46 minutes. All right, well, this is, uh, as you can see, <laughs> bulldozing can take some time. I'll go a little longer here, but we, you know, you're, I think you're all getting the idea here. Um, dump truck has good lights. Wait, did I? Yeah, I thought so. Went to the wrong place. Luckily, I got battery destroyed. What? Might have been my truck. Nope, it's this one. Great. What well, lights? The lights are off, man. Oh, I see. Oh, because my. <laughs> oh, good thing we got some. We got four mechanics over here. <laughs> That's nice. They all looking for something to do. They got bored. They're like, oh, the dump truck needs work. <laughs> okay, stop. This is good. All right. We'll just leave that run. No need for it to be off. I like pushing this dirt here. It doesn't matter. You're going to just use the bulldozer. I mean, the uh, excavator anyway on it. We'll go a little further. I don't think we got any squares right up here that we can. Like these, it's not really going to matter. I don't think we'll notice much of a difference. We'll see. Like it's got five meters. We can probably cut some off of it. So you always want to try to take out of a wall about half of the blade. If you try to do, especially a wall this high, you'll never get any more than that. Like, see, it's already kind of stuck. You can keep going. Once you get stuck, stuck, you back up, turn a little to the side that's got, you know, like no dirt away from the wall. Because some people will go the opposite way than I do, you know, from the other side of the map here. And that's fine too. Alright. <clears throat> and you just back up carefully. It's better that you hit the wall over here than this than these here. Because they can stick you really well if you're not being careful. All of a sudden we got a bunch of dirt here.
All right, looks good. I mean, there's a little bump there, but I'm not going to worry about it. Wow, see, we've, we've dug out a lot. Hey, wait a minute, what's going on here? Guess it wasn't down all the way. But this will make digging the trench easier. This will obviously make it so you get a lot more gold out of the cleanouts. So, I mean, this is, you know, probably take two hours to do it. I mean, obviously, if you're just learning, then um, it's going to take a little longer and it can be frustrating. But, see, as you can see, I just back up and turn. You'll get going. Come on. Guess there's too much dirt for it to push. And that's the thing, like it will stop if there's too much dirt and it just can't push it. So you gotta that's why you can't take a full blade full uh once you start digging like this. I mean I've never been able to. It always stops once you get dirt higher than the blade. Push these over here out of the way. There we go. Like the thing with bulldozing too, you can like, you can get to a certain point and then start digging and then come back to it once you're done. You know, it doesn't have to be like you do the whole claim in one shot. If you want to start putting money into the, or like ounces into the scoreboard, then it's probably better to, see like I might, basically I'll like dig out that whole hill and then I'll start digging the trench and then once you've got just enough room for your, you know, for the bulldozer to start digging again, then I'll go back and do some more. See already like how high the wall is there. Probably like two and a half meters that we're pushing it away. We're cutting through it just fine. It's just a matter of not taking too much dirt. And being patient, like it can it can pretty much push the dirt. As far as you need it to go, as long as there's like not too much dirt in front of it. You know, once you get too big of a pile, then you're all done. No, I want to get stuck. Almost looks like I went down a little bit. Didn't want to, but it seems like I might have. Well, that's lame. And this happens, you just keep going. That, stop getting stuck. But I think, I mean, that's pretty much all the secrets I have. It's just don't take too much dirt off the wall. When you get stuck, either turn towards the area of the blade that doesn't have dirt, or if you're at the edge of the wall like this, you can click it up one notch and then put it down. And then, as you can see, it was moving forward. It doesn't have to be fast. You can like put the one notch up for a second and then just make sure to go down. 
If you leave it up too long, that's when you make the ski slope. So. See, looks like it's leveling out now, so that's fine. See, even there I went like up three, three steps. Got me back to where I needed it to go. All right, but I think that's it. So I'll, I'll probably just leave the video here, but you can see we've clearly, we've taken out two squares here. I don't think they're gonna read much because they're just all overburden. 5.7, 5.6. It doesn't really say. So, not on these ones, and you don't really care because these ones are all the ones you're going to delete anyway. So, but hey, that's it for bulldozing. If you have other questions about it, let me know and I'll try to answer them probably in the next video or two. And again, thank you for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please give them a like. And if you're brand new, please subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.